mortality rates are shockingly high in, in developing countries. And we help those groups by providing the materials that they need to raise the standard of care and, and create a safer environment and gain access to some of what we would consider basic. The purpose of the, the medical suites are to advance the standard of care in that hospital or clinic. So we provide all the tools needed for that specific room, um, from exam rooms to surgical rooms to critical care rooms to NICU units to maternity and women's care. In order for the doctor to provide a complete examination, they need the examination couch and the gooseneck lamp and the diagnostic set and the ultrasound. If they don't have all of those items in the exam room, they can do their best to care for their patient. If they have all of those items in that exam room, they will do their best to take care of that patient. So the beauty of the iMac suite and, and the completeness of it is just that it is that, complete. So when they arrive at the particular hospital and they're put into the room, that afternoon the doctor is seeing a patient in the same room that he'd see that patient in Boston. Our 40 suites represent 40 different functions within the hospital, which is about the number of functions you find in most community hospitals. They can be placed anywhere in the world and they can serve a multitude of different diseases and clinical protocols, what you will find is a particular group of doctors would like to go and teach a particular discipline. They may need specific instruments or specific items for those procedures they'd like to perform or a specific customized suite to deal with that particular discipline. The feedback we get from the hospitals and clinics is, is amazing. Because of the process we go through, before we even begin packing materials, we know this is exactly what they need and want. The word we use often here is joy. It's hard to imagine that sending materials creates joy, but it, we're not sending materials. We are transforming communities and creating joy. The pictures and video and, and sometimes the in-person visits that we're able to make really show that there are communities that get together and have dances and feasts and, and everyone is just so excited. Not only that they will now have these things that will change their lives, but the, they're often overwhelmed by the fact that people here who they will never meet, who know nothing about them, have given their time, their resources to do this for them. And it's amazing to watch this global exchange between people that never meet. And it's really pretty incredible.